Alright everybody, there is the Weeping Willow Bonsai, if you just watched the time lapse of it. And I got it all in and wired and pretty comfortable with it. Everybody looks like it's doing really well. Got the wires done on the little shoots. Good thing about Weeping Willows is if you can get the little shoots like that to root, they are really manipulative. I mean, you can wire them almost like ivy. And there's the big guy. A straight tree almost looks a little like bamboo right now. And we'll just see how I style it and end up trimming it in the end. Give it a super natural environment. collected rocks and moss from where we're from so it gives it that look of our area of course with these you can do just about anything with weeping willows in the US where I'm from they grow everywhere and the ones down in south down in the southern part of the United States southeast get really big and beautiful but we have some massive ones here on the west coast too so we're always propagating them but I like to try to find different looks and ways to use a tree other than just its standard look which this one will definitely have I'll get to the I'll get to the time lapse on this one and this is just a great little tree so definitely just keep that that traditional weeping willow look put it on a little hill here in the tray I drilled holes in and have a screen ready and yeah make a good little scene for him and just get him big thick weeping willow right. anyway there's the end result of the little weeping willow forest. And the blanket turned out really neat. So, anyway, thanks for checking out the Weeping Willow bonsai scene. Uh, happy bonsai, everybody, and I'll do a time lapse of this Weeping Willow next.